Okay, cool. So we're recording now. As always, we'll plan to make the recording public. If anything gets said that you think shouldn't be public, let me know and we'll stop the recording right then and start another recording. And if we don't stop, we'll plan to make the whole thing public. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Great. Melina? We'll, we'll let her chime in whenever she can. Thanks, Melina. Um, so, yeah. Bro, there's been so much going through my mind since we connected um, last week, so many different areas, you know, that I would love to dive into with you. There's so much there for both of us, as you know, um, but I wanted to, you know, as I was thinking it through, you saw the, the agenda I, I sent you. I really want to, you know, one, give you a sense of how I see the tra trajectory going from here, like the step-by-step, -step, what the rollout and ramp up process is going to be like from here. So you can kind of have a sense of, you know, where you see yourself fitting in, where you see other people, you know, fitting in just the whole picture of what's happening right now, right? We didn't even get into any of that stuff the other day. We were talking a lot about the system and my background and all of that. Today, I want to, one, give you an idea of what the rollout looks like. I want to talk about, you know, kind of really, and, and we'll get into this like right from the beginning, but for me, I really want to tune in to what the highest level um, positive feedback cycle that you and I can create together is, and you and I, Melina, and all three of us and all of that, and we'll, we'll talk about it because it's a, it's a core concept within Uniting for Action, and um, I don't think well, you might have you might have seen it in the volumes if you went that far, but I'll explain it and we'll talk about how that relates to us because that's to me the foundation of what our relationship will be like and the way that I'm trying to systematize it, right? Trying to systematize all our relationships. So we'll talk about that. And I want you, you know, to share enough of the details that you want to about ways that you see yourself, you know, receiving value through the Uniting for Action system, the whole collective, you know, through the projects that you're working on um, that are important to you, your priorities. So I really want to tune into where you see the value, you know, for yourself in all of these different dimensions, because, you know, at the end, essentially, as part of the, of the a positive feedback loop process, I want to have you value, you know, what all of that is to you in terms of what you feel like a fair exchange is in terms of you providing time, talents, expertise, finance, influence, whatever currencies that you have that you want to exchange, that to me is going to like set what our loop is, right? Like here's all that we can provide. Here's all that's coming back. Now what can we provide based on that? Right. And that's based not just on what you're providing, but as with any collective, you're being one of many that's contributing into all that's getting developed. Right. It's just that the level that, that you're contributing at is going to determine like what level you want to play this game at, essentially. Right. As this is all going forward. It's like a self-defining thing, essentially. Right. So we'll get into like the specifics of that. But before we go down those roads, I want to explore all of the value that we can have back and forth. You know, let you share with me like all the places that you're seeing, all the areas that you've, you know, a tool you know, a community, whatever it looks like, you know, changes your world. You already mentioned, you know, connecting different entities and all of that. So we'll get into all of that. But before we do that, I'm going to, again, like give the roadmap so that you have the context that you're speaking into. And then you'll share with me. Um, well, actually, before all of this, I'll answer any questions and things that have come up in your mind that we want to clear out of the way before we get into all of that. And then also, you know, after I give the context of how we're going to roll everything out, that's where you'll share with me everything that you want to share about, you know, all the ways that you can see receiving value, that you want to use the system, that you want to be a part of what's happening here, that you want to be, you know, in a, a high level input on how all of this is going, you know, all of the ways that you see, you know, for yourself that's valuable to you uh, and you feel like you can be valuable for the collective. So sound good? Absolutely. You are, uh, you're speaking with a lot of clarity. Awesome. Awesome. So um, 
anything that you want to say, any comments, and then we can roll straight into any questions or clarities you want about anything that we've talked about or just isn't totally clear yet for you. Yeah, no questions. I'll just explain to you that I didn't have as much time as I did uh, between our first connection and our first phone call that I was able to look through some uh, you know, documentation and, and everything. Uh, this time around, it's it was different. I mean, I'm free now, but yesterday, the day before, the last few days, I've been pretty uh, demanding. So, so just that you know that I don't have anything fresh as far as uh, you know the agenda. I didn't dive into as much as possible. So, yeah. Um, right. any, any references to that? Maybe just screen share, um, or I could get my laptop and pull it up if, if it's, you think I'll need it. Um, yeah. No. The I, and I know the links I sent today was late anyways just a couple hours before our meeting and those are things that as well i didn't get to that as well yeah yeah those you can look at anytime i'll bring it up in our meeting just to give you like an overview so you can kind of get a sense because it it just goes into the realness of all i was sharing with my background before and i kind of skipped over the last part which was the most relevant part to what you know is getting created now which is my years as a community organizer, producing events and bringing people together. And I want you to see some of the actual, you know, pictures and videos. I don't know if you saw what uh, Melina tagged on Facebook and commented on Facebook, but those, that's one example, but there's a lot of, a lot for you to see. And yeah, I got to what we should do is we, we should implement for ourselves uh, some type of task tracking, uh, action items tracking system. Um, accountability, you know, and I do that with everything that I uh, work, depends who I'm working with. If it's uh, Google, uh, uh, a client that uses Google, then we'll use Google Tasks. If it's Microsoft, then we'll use the uh, uh, Teams as an app for that, uh, function for that. Um, you know, it could be emails, just, you know, but uh, I want us to have a protocol on action items so that I can hold myself accountable for it because I, I do have a lot. And, uh, but I feel like when it's organized, things things happen. Um, and it, it was on me to really just receive everything and organize it. But now moving forward, if we implement some way of, you know, maybe a follow-up and maybe that's what you did. You, did you send a follow-up email after the meeting? Um, I sent a follow-up message. I'm trying to think of the order, but I sent the video. Actually, I didn't send the video of our meeting until this morning either. Um, so in terms of the, um, like a recap, it wasn't until today that I actually got to that either. Okay. No, and I understand that's fine, but you know, that, that we'll, we'll start dialing that in, uh, as far as, as, far as having a recap with, uh, you know, action items assigned to who, and even if it's just on the paper, we don't have to have a tool for it for now. Um, but, uh, that'll help me a lot because I really want to make sure that. You know, this is this is the more I uh, the more we talk about this, the more I think about it, the more I see this being a, a, a big role. I appreciate that, brother. I really do. I really honor that, and that you're exactly you know the 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 person, the people that I'm you know looking for and calling out to the universe to is who feels this in their bones, in their soul, in their blood, mm -hmm. like like who recognizes me as just the extension of them that's in Jared's body that's doing the work that there is for all of us to do, right? Yeah, like I absolutely see it just like that. Like I'm the hands that's doing all of this and you're the heart pumping, you know, behind me. Yeah. And, you but know, it's almost like you were building this thinking of us, uh, uh, not thinking of us, thinking with us, like you were in my mind as you were building this and I'm sure in the minds of others. And that's, that's proof that we're all one. You know, and then when we go to our center, we find the same as others that go to their center. And then we just apply our talents towards that. And this ability for you to plan and blueprint something that's that's crucial. That's uh, that's the genesis of things. You know? And uh, so, yeah. So, you know, and I'm sure you did this in all faith. And uh, this is the universe responding and sending you the people that have been, that not only can understand this, but have been actually looking for this. That's the thing, and that's where I want to, once again, acknowledge and appreciate you and Melina um, in this moment, because you guys are the ones showing up right in the seminal moment. 
like and you are you are the one that um you know you will see you know based on just some of the things some of the threads we talked about last time like with the influencers you mentioned you like the influencer army concept and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a little bit more detail so you really get like where that's going and what's about to happen with that because then you will see i think from what you said a lot more synergies and just ways that we're working together and you've been working for years to be the one to show up to mesh right in and be able to you know blow things up in all kinds of different ways so i'm super excited to just you know yeah, yeah keep being with you with all of this so any other comments or questions before i dive into the plan and we start going uh i guess one question is this the beginning of you presenting this project I'm sorry, the beginning of what? Have, had you presented the project uh, before? I, its completion? Not, not in its current form. It hasn't been shared um, in a real, you know, since about March. So there's a lot of stuff that's happened since March and April. So this is the first time I'm really kind of shouting out. And this is the, like the only time that I'm doing it this way, because there's been like, along the way over years, hey, everybody, I've got this thing, you know, please pay attention, we can all work together and change the world. And it's never been grounded enough and evolved enough to get a critical mass of people behind it. And I didn't, you know, exert my force or whatever. A lot of this, and we're going to talk about this, a lot of this is me developing, you know, internally, energetically over the years to be able to hold the energy to bring this in the world. I've collapsed under the weight of this thing many times, you know, it's, it's been too much for me to bear many times. So there's, and, and there's been many times that I brought it out and it's like, okay, I finally mustered the strength to bring it in the world and I'm sharing it with everybody. And nobody's seeming to care and nobody's getting it and there's like no support and it's just like I got to go do more you know and that's been a, a cycle you know it takes like two or three years to go through that kind of cycle and I've done it multiple times you know mm -hmm. so but I understand that well yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, this is it. And I am sure from the way you and others are responding that this is the, the last time I'll, you know, make an effort to bring it into the world. It is, it's got enough rocket fuel in it now that it will light and it will go. So, you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful for this moment. Great. Well, then I have no further questions. Okay, cool, cool. Um, okay, so let me launch my browser and let me show you the plan. And this plan is on the website and it will keep growing. So I'm gonna give you the link, link in the chat. Okay. So um, I'm going to give you two links. I'm going to give you the link for the succinct story and the link for the, um, the full story. And so just to remind you right now, right now, um, until we do our technology upgrade, there's so much cranking behind the page thinking that's going on to populate all these different icons and all of these different branches and all these different options and and apps that it just takes a little while to load so and what that's is that um good question what does that tech uh, uh upgrade looks like what is it what you, what does the tech upgrade look like what are you um do you have uh, an idea of how that what this upgrade consists of yeah, like what, I think, what type of equipment? I think at this stage, um, probably, and you know, I'm open to other expertise, but probably um, just reprogrammed in PHP with a MySQL backend, MySQL database is going to be sufficient for our alpha launch. 
Now for our beta launch, it's going to be more like what's running behind the scenes behind a TikTok or a Facebook or something like that. And that's, you know, a whole nother level of technology development. But just to get just to get our alpha launch, it's going to be it really is going to be some firm or entity that can just look at the code and say, yeah, we can do this. And they're just going to rewrite the code in PHP. Like you said, it may even be chat GPT largely with some person just like running all the pages through and then cleaning it up and that sort of thing. However it gets done, it's not that technically complicated. It's really straightforward. It's just busy work, basically. Servers, is that is that uh, internal? Servers and data no, we're gonna we're gonna use a hosting company and then i would say you know as soon as we can i guess it's going to be appropriate with our alpha launch that we'll have a dedicated server and a dedicated database server and that way we won't be sharing it with other websites so it'll just be our traffic on those servers so that's essentially you know from and then use the system to come up with a long-term solution right? from within the Exactly, exactly. The, the alpha launch is to get us to the beta launch and then to the full launch. And we're actually going to go through those steps right now. But that's to get to the next step, which is where you and Melina and others can actually be using the system like on a daily basis. That's our alpha launch, you know, as okay. as you see it right now with some extra tweaks and a couple extra features built in that I visualized, but I haven't programmed into this version yet. So I'll direct the team to add tags is a really high priority. I don't want to go down too deep now, but you get the idea. It's basically yeah, what, I get it. what you're looking at will be re rewritten in the new code. So I'm, like I said last time, could be, you know, somebody could do it relatively cheap a couple or a few thousand, you know, on a worst case scenario, I imagine we can get some firm to do it for like 20 or 30,000 at the most, I would say, you know, at this level, just to get us going, you know what I mean? So, um, so let me, let me take you. So this is the ramp up plan. Let me share the link as I meant. Any other questions before I? No, 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 it's slow. Okay, so here is, the succinct version of this page. And then let me again show you what I'm talking about here. So when I say the succinct version of this page, what it does is it only pulls one um, generation under the top generation. So when you expand all, you only see the top level and then whatever is just below that. When we go to the full page, you're gonna see many more branches going down from these many more generations. So what the way we get to that page is we click on this link, the story. So this is the succinct stories. This is the full story. And then when we click on that, again, it's gonna take a moment for the page to load, but that's gonna load the full page and you'll see what the difference looks like in terms of the structure. And this is where I'm going to get in a bit of detail right now, again, about the rollout and the different stages and how I see things rolling out. And this is you know, open for discussion now that I'm sharing it with you and sharing it with the world. And this, you know, I'm very purposefully, just so you know, let me take a quick drink. I'm gonna go through this whole outline with you. And I'm going to describe, you know, what my vision is for each one of these things. And then that, you know, 30 second clip or two minute clip about each one of those is going to get added into this, onto those, you know, into those thoughts on the page. So, you know, once this is done, chop up the video, insert all those clips there. And now somebody doesn't just have the text on the page, but they've got like, what I have to say about it and all its richness. And then when somebody sees something and they say, Jared, I have some ideas about that. And then we have a meeting and then we have a half hour on that. Now that gets attached to that. And now, you know, we're starting to evolve our thought, right? And then other people jump in. We're going to have all kinds of processes to do this, not only asymmetrically as people are doing it whenever they want or asynchronously, I should say, but also to do it synchronously and actually do it excuse me, in real time with people, we're all looking at our screen live and seeing all the different things change as we're all responding and 
you know, asking questions and giving answers and voting on things and rating things and whatever. So we're about, that's a big part of what we're going to talk about, because that's, you know, very soon to have this whole collective process of participating in decision making, taking action, all of that in real time as a whole world, you know, as much as we want to. Um, mm -hmm. So I know we didn't really get into that. It's a pretty cool concept, <laughs> you know, that, but that is going. No, it is, it is. But this is uh this is uh, open for so many. I mean, this is going to encompass everything. So it, it, it's only going to keep showing itself as we keep exploring. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like the ultimate flow. <laughs> the ultimate what? Uh, flow. The ultimate uh, state of flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you, brother. It is. It's awesome. Um, okay, cool. So here now we're on the full page. Let me share this link with you. So again, this will be the the longer loading page with more detail. And so I'll just expand all to begin with just so you can get, you know, the quick difference. So as I expand this, you can see that this goes down more levels and has more details. So again, that's kind of the difference. And you can see when you see all the details that are here and then to know not only are all of these different thought paths and thoughts that we have here, like here just listed, but they're able to be interacted with dynamically all of them because all of them have this app, you know, box set up. I didn't show you this app box last time. I realized that I left it out and it's an important thing. So as we are, Okay, we're going from the ramp up plan and then we have these four things to choose from. We're gonna choose to build a foundation and then from build a foundation, reactive net, reactivate networks. Now let's go to assemble teams. So we get to be, make choices about the flow of our thoughts in real time with these fly out menus, but also each one of them, this is what I was showing you, This each one of them that has this arrow right here, this arrow opens up your app toolbox. So this is where you have all of your installed or already handy apps, basically. So you can keep adding apps and making apps prominent and using them and pulling them in and out of your toolbox. But right now, we've got the update app, the edit, the rating, the replicate this concept or save replicated concept here, duplicate this concept or save duplicated concept here. So we've got all this different functionality at our fingertips for every thought at every moment. That's one of the things I really wanted to do with this was I wanted to make it where it was all like fly out and hover. So you don't have to go to a new page, go to a new page, go, you know what I mean? Have a whole new page load to get from thing that like you have everything at your fingertips all at once through the user interface of this control panel that doesn't make you like, you know, dive down into things. It gives you the ability to like pull information out generations ahead and different, you get what I'm saying? It's like, and- Yeah, it feels like one one process versus a fragmented group of processes. Exactly. This is, and again, this will evolve as people give their input and everything. But what we're doing essentially is we're starting to create the inter interface for navigating thoughts, right? and for navigating thoughts in consistent, systematic ways that we're all doing it the same way. So we're all speaking the same language about how to, how to think, you know, think in certain ways, how to do things, how to accomplish things, how to propose. Like we're all speaking the same language. And like I showed you before, it's an icon icographic language. So we don't even have to use words. We're just using icons and and everyone in the whole globe is able to do everything, you know, similarly without having any translation. Okay. Written. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. that I think is a huge thing when I came to that realization, you know, that we do everything through these icons, the meat, the icons have the meanings and then it's a universal language. That's so awesome. So, so I'm going to collapse it again so we can just go piece by piece. And I don't want to take, a ton of time with this because I really want to get into, you know, your priorities and what you, you know, where you see value and all of that. But let's just start with the build the foundation. This is the phase that we're in now. Okay. And this is where I'm taking the time to reactivate my network. And in particular, the energetic planet launch partners and the higher vibe life members, Scott, 
duplicated because I hit it, double tapped it by accident. So the Connect with Energetic Planet launch partners, um, I showed you some of the Energetic Planet things. I wanna show you this one video really quickly because I think this is really important for context. Okay, so this video, this is Energetic Planet. And this video, let's launch it on YouTube real quick. Because I want you to see, and again, I think it's so important for the context only one of what we're talking about. In my setup for all fall, I would definitely put all of my eggs into this bag. So this video I made, well, I posted it December 10th, 2012. Okay, so 11 years ago. Wow. And I want you to just, you know, really get like, I made it today, basically, you know, if you listen. Hello, wow. I'm, I'm the founder of Energetic Planet. Energetic Planet is the culmination of my life's work, combining my degree in aerospace engineering with my experience on the board of directors of a local chamber of commerce here in South Florida, as well as my background as the membership director of one of the largest nonprofit organizations in Seattle, Washington. And most recently, my 14 years of experience as a website program, programming very complex solutions for businesses, nonprofits, and membership organizations across the country. Energetic Planet is the engineered solution designed to support the transition of our society to sustainability, perpetually living in harmony with our planetary resources and each other, generation after generation, forever. Part of the solution involves the launching of a new technology platform that we're creating to allow us to align our most precious resources, our time, energy, and finances around those aspects of our lives that are most important to us individually, throughout our community, and across our society. And we're also launching a membership organization designed to allow millions and then tens of millions of people to come into energetic alignment behind the new sustainable paradigms for our major societal systems, such as education, health, media, and commerce. And since everything must exist first intentionally or energetically before we can see the physical manifestation, if you're interested in having your children and your grandchildren and the generations to come be able to enjoy the gift of this beautiful, diverse, abundant life that we've had the privilege of experiencing, then I encourage you to take the first step and learning how to become a member of Energetic Planet for free and join the rest of us who are aligning intentionally, technologically, and organizationally to co-create the reality of our collectively dream Energetic Planet. It's just really wild to me how, wow. how like, I couldn't say it any better today. You know, it's like the same, but like, what you're seeing is the realization of this vision that I've been holding and working on all of these years. And this is crystal clear, like you said, as it was just shared and as we're still working on. But now, finally, 10 years later, 12 years later, I've been able to figure enough out to build the whole system and have a way to actually get us from here to there. You know? It was, wow. Yeah. And the, even back then, you were so ahead of the this is this is great i i definitely see it that's around the time that i began my walk so well, just before that I, I started to become aware of things so. that's awesome that's awesome that's really cool so let me dive back in so the so part of it and it's great that i'm sharing this with you so you can get where i was at with the energetic planet launch partners because it's important it's important for you to know I'm, I want to share openly with the world and I want everybody to get that there's I I 
realize that there's still levels of healing with me and people back from energetic planet. And I've been, I started that healing process a few months ago. I sent out a, uh, a video, you know, when we were coming together in these launch partner meetings and creating the world as we were, as you just saw, the people that were coming on board were investing $300 each in being a launch partner, which was intended to be $100 a month for three months up front. And then the idea was that we would have enough um, center of gravity, enough, you know, to be able to keep, Cheap. yeah, to be able to keep continuing and have more and more members sign up and be able to keep growing, right? To be able to have a sustainable enterprise. But it wasn't getting to that point. I was doing, you know, everything in terms of reaching out to people and signing them up and um, creating events and trying to build the technology to do all of this. And there was just not enough time in the day for me to do it all at all, you know, and I wasn't able to feed myself literally. And, you know, I was doing everything I could to hold it all together and I wasn't able to. And then I went and basically stopped and, you know, having events and started programming for like months. And I wasn't in touch as well as I should have been with everyone from, you know, Energetic Planet back then. And from what I hear, have heard, you know, some people were like wondering where I was and all of that. I was trying to, you know, make it work for everybody, but I wasn't able to do it, you know, and I was... I was programmed, I was programmed, I was programmed. I came back like a year and a half later, a year later, like, hey, I finally have the program. Here's the program, the system that we can use, an early version of what you're seeing. And there, was, it, I didn't have the connection with the community anymore and people weren't embracing it. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't getting like, oh, wow, this is so great. Thank you for this kind of thing. You know, it was just like, cold, you know, a lot of cold shoulders, basically. And so I've never, I've never, and I've kind of, there's always layers for me to understand this, but over the last few months, I've come to realize that um, I wasn't able to, I just wasn't able to deal with everything. And I had a history, you know, a, a, embedding in my childhood of shame and so I created this repeated pattern of shame this was another shameful thing and to not connect with people was another shameful thing and there's just shame on top of shame on top of shame and and that was my life for many many years and still is in a lot of ways although I've been doing a lot of work over the last months to break you know, that feeling and to be able to stand in power, you know, in what I'm doing. And so a big, big part of that is this healing process with the whole community now, because I've been waiting for all of these years to be able to have something to give them value in exchange for the value that they gave. And I haven't had anything, you know, along the way that I've been able to show up with in that way until now. And so over the last few months, I've been reaching out, you know, a little bit like in Facebook posts and an email blast, but there's a lot mm -hmm. of people, a lot of launch partners from back then that I still haven't heard from and haven't had like a closure conversation with. So there's a lot of that work for me to do to really, you know, reach out to those people individually and create all the healing that I need personally for me to at least know that I'm offering this and I'm apologizing and I'm asking, you know, what I can do to redeem our relationship and to come back to a level that we can co-create at together again, that, that people can feel good about embracing the value of what's here. And so I'm just sharing, yeah, I'm just sharing all of this because I want you to kind of get you know, what this process is for me. And, and in particular, like right now, like I'm showing you the part of the ramp up phase that is the me um, dealing with all of my failures of the past, basically, you know, and all of the relationships that there are to repair, or at least for me to make effort, every effort I can to reach out to, you know, to have that happen you know, and to give everyone the opportunity. And in particular, you know, so many of those people are people 
that, you know, are leaders in the community and I value and And it's not at all that I have, the, I can't even think of people that I have like a bad relationship with. It's just, there are people that I think we, we, we never had a conversation to acknowledge all of that, all of what happened and how it made them feel and what it did, you know, to them and all of that. And I want to own all of that with each of those people because I want to, you know, I want to own every, all the shadow in me, right? I'm embracing all of the shadow, me, all of the things I'm, you know, you talked last time about, just being like, you know, open with everybody about everything. And I just kind of want you to be aware of what I am doing to be able to everywhere I can in all of my life, find all of the, un, you know, the places that I've let the garden grow over and is untended at this point and go and tend all of those gardens and have the, the be able to stand in the power necessary to hold the weight of the world, you know, with your support and other people's support and be able to do that with a foundation of knowing that I've done everything I can to make everything right with everybody that I can. I, I honor and respect you sharing that. And, uh, you know, I'll have you know that I'm in a parallel path, not, not anymore advanced than you, you know, so my, my me, say, me sharing that last week, Obviously, when you speak to someone you just met, it's very it's much easier to speak the, the things you need to say and need to know for yourself. So my first step of dealing with the same type of toxic guilt and shame, I have, you know, I have in a way, in certain ways, I've, I've plowed through life, you know, uh, for a higher purpose. So I've always justified this sense of, I'll, I'll get back to this and it will be understood, you know? Um, I, w I wasn't in the average walk. Don't expect the average things. I don't have time. I'll explain later. This is good for all of us. So, you know, but we st we're still human and we're not immune to the consequences. You know, so this has cost me a lot. Uh, not, not only, you know, a tangible cost, but, a, but also probably a heavier cost it has been the internal processing of guilt and shame and taking the time to transform that, rechannel that, you know? So part of that process is learning to identify the circumstances where I have an opportunity to step up further than I did the last time. And this is one of them because it taps into my purpose because I'm dealing with someone or both of you that are on the path usually judgment is less when you're working with people that are also doing their walk. So it creates a better comfort zone. But ultimately, this is for me to take this and go back to where the real strongest challenge is, where I still have those patterns. You know, some connections, they're going to manifest more than others. Depends on the vibrational habits of that relationship, you know. So I'm with you, you know, and it's no coincidence that we are experiencing the same liberation I guess, to not speak from the victim side of things. It's a liberation and it's it's only going to come back and feed everything we do because, because if you're like me, then you would agree that you've only been putting, that this is costing you a lot of your potential consciously. You know, you're consciously yeah. sacrificing potential for this, uh, to honor the shame. Like I personally feel like uh, even seven years ago, I would have accelerated my progress if I would have just had the face to come onto social media and speak. And then do this because I had already the drive to ins inspire people, but I had to rechannel all that energy, internalize it, and turn it into building, which I needed as well. So things are perfect. However, you know, as far as I knew, it was just a, a plan B to not being able to face the public. So instead, let me do this. Let me just build quietly and little by little becoming somebody that I went from an extrovert to an introvert. But it was, that was the weight of that. Was the weight of that, you know? But now I'm I'm seeing not only am I seeing it, but I'm also the universe is also helping me. I'm getting, you know, just such as this conversation, you know, such as people that were closed before, they're opening up now and allowing me to let things out more. So 
I'm 100% with you on that. I understand it. Um, and I'm right there with you as far as living this. Yeah, thank you, my brother. I really honor you and appreciate you for your path and, and um, you know, you sharing that and us sharing this very similar journey. It's, it's so perfect, of course, you know, and um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's really great. And, and it's why it's, I'm going to bring up the outline again to, to kind of put some more context in it. It's, it's where I, again, I want to share, you know, exactly where I'm at in this process with you, because this is the first phase, the build the foundation phase. So I'm looking at it, the rollout at the moment are these four phases, okay? Build a foundation, raise the influence or army, establish relationships and co-create the world. And so again, open to editing and adjusting, but right now I see the building a foundation as you know, reactivating my networks, reaching out to everybody. And this is my goal ideally to really complete the the bulk of that work in terms of the initial reach out to everyone by January 1st. I want to ideally by January 1st feel like I've I've made every earnest effort to initiate, you know, contact with everyone and they will, you know, they'll they'll, you know, we'll reconnect when they're ready, basically, right? Um, and just honoring everybody wherever they're at, you know, and not- How feeling... are you reaching out? Are you reaching out um, through mass communication, like bulk communication or one by one? Well, I've been doing that. Again, I, I've made some Facebook posts. I've done email blasts. I've had a lot of, um, you know, messenger messages lately. Um, back in March, April, I did a bunch of- uh, texts to people so i yeah i typically when i'm doing a big outreach i typically do the mass communication then i follow up with a lot of personal messages and i've always been a very personal message um person from in terms of like how i how i back when i was doing the whole networking thing when i was creating these events and let me actually give you just a little more context now while we're talking about it so you get like what all of this looks like so this is the page i sent you today and this is um what i created through energetic planet this was the premiere event i'm going to show you a little bit of the video for this event so you, you rebrand you rebranded into uh, united for action Yes, it went from energetic planet to higher vibe life to uniting for action. It's basically been different flavors of the same thing. So that event is the end, actually. We'll get to that. It started with this. This card, again, I just want to read this to you. I printed this card in 2008. So this is 15 years old. Imagine a world where everyone on the planet has nutritious food, clean air, healthy water, affordable housing, artistic expression, health, freedom, peace, the energy to overcome all our greatest challenges already exists. We simply have to organize our energies. For the first time in the history of humanity, we've invented a technology, the internet, which we can use to organize the people and the resources on our planet to address our greatest needs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 wow, wow. The so social media got ahead of you for the wrong reasons, <laughs> but you had, you had it, you had it. So that was 2008. I'm not going to get into the details now, but I sent you this link. I encourage you to read about like the life shifting experience. It was for me at Occupy Wall Street. I'll just mention this because you'll appreciate it. This here is me meditating in front of the stock exchange building. Um, this is another wow. angle of it. So it was a flash mob in New York City. Um, this is another angle. Flash mob in New York City where my friends and I we were meditating in front of the stock exchange building. And this was, and what I was visualizing, the, the thing was, this was one month before Occupy Wall Street started. So as I'm so as I'm in this meditation, I'm visualizing like 
a ring of people around all of Wall Street, like all being unified. And then I'm visualizing this happening in all of these different financial centers around the world. And I'm visualizing all of this. And then a month later, like it's happening. And it totally just like, yeah, it's totally crazy. That's great. It's amazing that you were so young, so informed, so early. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's great. So, That's great. yeah, so that, the and then I went up to Occupy Wall Street once it started. I went back to New York to kind of like jump in the middle of it because I was like, yes, it's happening. But then I saw, I saw it firsthand that it wasn't, you know, structured to work. It was a pure democracy. I don't know if you, you know, read about or heard about it. It was a pure democracy where they had like 500 people that were all there at the meeting and any one person could veto whatever was happening. And it just wasn't structured to, to have success. Right. You know, it was a lot of people that wanted to create results and no structure to be able to facilitate. You were, you were involved in working at the, at the organizational level? I... I had never got involved. I was connected with people that were connected with those people and were going to make introductions to, for me and all of that. But I saw, I was taking like an exploratory trip and then I was planning to like move back to dive into the middle of it. But on my exploratory trip, I kind of foresaw that it was going to fizzle. It was already starting to lose some energy and I saw that it didn't have the foundation to really, uh, you know, have legs. So I decided to you know stay in South Florida and keep doing what I was doing rather than move to New York. Yeah. So, um, but it was a big, you know, lesson and a big step in my evolutionary, you know, understanding of all of this and path. So then, take a quick drink. I produced these videos after that, after I came back and started to create Energetic Planet. So it was after Occupy Wall Street that I came back and created Energetic Planet. No, I'm sorry, I'm getting it wrong. Occupy Wall Street was in the middle. Let me get this right. That's the other. Yeah, this was 2011. So that's right. So I had those other things in 2008, 2010. Then 2011 was Occupy Wall Street. And then I came back and that's when I started creating events. This was one of the first big events that I created. This was on 12-12-12. So this was at a big yoga studio and these were all the different features. So it had a bunch of different leaders doing a bunch of different things, a bunch of different alignments on 12, 12, 12. So it was really, this was like the model of the events that I would create as I would get all of these community leaders, Jill did her bowls and each of these people did their thing. And then, you know, it was kind of like half programmed and half networking. And then this was the next event I did, which was in the design district and had a totally different feel. It was in a, you know, a warehouse with an art exhibit, the art of basketball. And we did it more like production oriented with, you know, the recording and the lights and everything. And um, these are, you know, some photos again, to get an idea really, you know, high level people in terms of who was, you know, in the spiritual community at the time. And then from there went into this next one that I did with Dr. Lee. And then again, you know, here we did it, educating hands in Miami and all. The, so this was the format and this was what I was doing at all of these events for the energetic planet. And then that's where, you know, it just, again, became unsustainable and I just couldn't do events anymore and I had to withdraw. And once I withdrew, you know, for nine months or a year, whatever it was and did the programming, then this was the first event that I produced when I came back. This was the goddess dancers at the yin yang party. So the yin yang party, just to share really quickly, Melina and I talked about the chi revolution last time. So the chi revolution had their events in convention centers around the country. And I didn't mention last time, I won't get into details now, but I actually did the website for the chi revolution and create a whole like online community for them like a, a face uh, it was, we actually called it qigong space which was modeled after myspace because facebook didn't exist yet so we were creating okay. myspace for the whole qigong community at the time and i was actually traveling around the country with them to all of the different events 
And so when they came back to town in 2013, I think this was, um, I connected with Jeff and he, um, in exchange for promotion, he agreed to give me the use of the room after hours. So I had a room that would hold 300 people doing Qigong and I had the event that I could produce whatever mm -hmm. event we wanted. So we had Kung Fu, Qigong, music, dance, DJ, art. It was really like an amazing event. So these are like some of the pictures from it. And these are the goddess dancers. And the goddess dancers are a whole nother aspect that I've produced that I'll share with you. Not right now, but somewhere along the way, because it's another big part um, of where I've gone with like my production and, and creating spaces and that sort of thing. At this event, just to share really quickly, and I don't want to go too much further, but I want to again give you this context so you get who I was connecting with and all of this and who is the community for me to reconnect with, basically. This is like, you know, that, that the reactivation to happen uh, at whatever time they're ready. The goddess dancers, one of them was singing that night and it was the first time she ever sung on a stage in front of people. She had only wow. just like sung for herself before. And afterwards, she thanked me so much for the opportunity that she ended up becoming a singer after that. Like she's a singer. Wow. Yeah. She's wow. A singer. That's that, amazing. It, it is. And there was another, you know, woman who was dancing and she had never gotten on a stage and danced in front of people and, you know, put on the costume of being a goddess and was a goddess in front of the community before, right? And so she's expressing to me her, her gratitude for me creating, you know, this opportunity for her to be able to become a goddess in front of the community and then continue that whole, you know, way. And it was so inspiring to me and made me so realize like the masculine feminine that was going on here where I was the masculine energy creating the container and the space and the stage and the organizational structure and the promotion and all of that to allow these amazing goddesses to get up on the stage and just have the freedom to express themselves and allow that expression to come out. So this was very transformative, you know, to me again, in my evolution of all of this was to recognize what I was doing in that moment and to really, really appreciate that and really want to be that in the world, be that divine masculine energy to be able to hold create the container for the, you know, creative energy to flow into the world. So that's a, that's, you know, a big theme with me. And along the way, you'll amazing. see, what's that? I said, amazing, amazing. Right in time for the age of, uh, you know, the, the, the Aquarius, the, the female. Exactly. Energy exactly. to take over. <laughs> exactly. So just a couple months after this event, after the, um, yin yang party because i was so inspired in that moment i created the goddess expressions event which was exactly what i just shared which was to create the stage and have all of these amazing people um perform paloma davy do you know paloma you know her music i've seen her before I, i'm not familiar too much okay she was also in the guru ganesha band if you know them but you might have seen Soul Temple was probably before your time, but she performed the Soul Temple and then the Guru Ganesha band and then um, her own things. And um, but she was headlining this event and helping me to create it. And again, it was just to showcase the the photo. Here's you know again some photos, and it was just so incredible, such an incredible experience. I'm actually going to publish some video from that that I found recently. But again, I'm I'm sharing all these things with you because even though a lot of this has been dormant within me as I haven't been producing events and I haven't been doing things to hold the energy of creating the stage, I'm now creating the stage in the digital world to be able to allow all of this to come out. And I'm about to start you know, expressing myself as an artist and a producer again, because I'm now you know, feeling like I'm getting to the point that I want to start showing how I can bring my creativity through all of this into the world. And it's a big part, you know, to allow my fullest expression to come out into the world. That's you know? great. That's, that's amazing. Let me, where, where are you located? I'm in Pembroke Pines right now. I'll okay. Perfect. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm about to, I just got a lot closer to you. I was actually in Fort Myers when we last spoke, but I'm now okay. back, I'm back in South Florida and we'll talk about it in a little bit. I don't, I'm going to be somewhere else after this and I'm not sure where yet. So we'll talk about that when we get to it, but it's, I'm fluid and flexible at the moment. Um, beautiful, beautiful. What's that? It's a beautiful, same here. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, so coming back into this, And again, I'm sharing a little bit deeper into this creative artistic part of me and the producer part of me because it is a part of the tapestry that's getting woven together right now in this moment. And also a lot of these, and I'm gonna show you, like I'll show you right here, a lot of the photography and videography that you're, that you're seeing or that you will see is mine. Um, so photography is another like really key um, outlet for me and so like just as an example i'll just show you these photos from this event because i want to show you a little bit of this event because this event was like the pinnacle event for me do you know claudia arrows at bagua center i do not okay. well we did i was working with her for a few months around this time and we created this event at her house when she had a home on biscayne bay as you can see, it was really spectacular. This was the first, you know, photo that you were seeing, like in the moment, a moment of meditation there. The, wow, the, it's beautiful. Yeah, the venue is extraordinary. This is me up on her balcony looking down um, you know, on it all. Yeah, it was great. And it went into night with the whole fire ceremony. And oh, man. We, we had 200 people there and we had all of these different things we had. Um, we had Andrew Clark on the Crystal Bowls. Andrew is amazing on Crystal Bowls. We had uh, Michelle Alva. We had all of this is Michelle singing. We had um, <laughs> Eric was taking pictures. We had so many different people. You're seeing all of the pictures. I'm actually going to show you this short video clip. Um, Kevin Walton was one of our featured people. If you know Kevin, Kevin, I know well. I know Kevin well. Okay, yeah. Great. You'll, let me let me just show you this short video clip and then we'll, we'll dive back in. But this is, again, gives you a much better idea of the energy, you know, that I'm bringing. Because this is like, this is the ultimate expression, how I energetically brought this, like, experience into the world, choosing all these people and the venue and, and the programming and how it would all flow and all that sort of stuff. You know, it's how like, were you marketing this? Were you just putting out flyers or you were doing direct marketing as well? This was most, mostly Facebook, email blasts um, to my lists and connections with Energetic Planet, Claudia's with Bagua. There was a lot of, you know, Bagua regulars, but also a lot of um, new people, a lot of people that came from my connections. Um, so... It was a mix. It was like every way we could, right? Every way we could get people there. Um, let me just show you a little bit of this video really quickly. Because this is, again, just, oops, that's not what I did. I just realized uh, it, uh, probably have to get off in 20 minutes. 20 is minutes? That, is that within the timeline you expect? <laughs> I've, I've run over a lot more than I had intended. But... Or should we, should we, uh, hop on once again later i don't mind you know at this point i feel like we're about to start like a flow you know as we're available that we're jumping on um you tell okay. me, you tell me because I, I mean let's use up what i have and then whatever you want we can hop back on again for sure yeah yeah, yeah. i you know i i'm a, I'm a little bit off agenda now but i'm going down these avenues because they're that's okay I feel I like there's so it could be, I, that could be healthy. Yes, I understand what you're doing because it gives me more of an understanding of the background behind things. And then I can kind of familiarize myself with what you're expecting to tap into once again in, in, in the right at the right time. That's a great way of putting it, because part of what I'm doing is I'm creating an energetic foundation. Right. And I want you as you're coming in and you're pulling people and you're pulling ideas and all of this that you get, that you know what the energetic true North star from my perspective is, 
because honestly, I'm not even there now in my current life. Like back then when I was doing all this and in all these events and all these people, I was vibrating at a much higher level. And part of what I'm doing right now is assembling a lot of those people that are amazing energy holders yeah. to, to be able to create this really strong energetic foundation for all that's happening now. And for me to re-anchor to, you know, and to give us all as a community an energetic anchor for what we're doing. Absolutely. And, and you know, Melina can testify that maybe the reason why I understand so well is because I have, the, again, another parallel. You know, I've been gathering networks. There's been a lot of trials and errors. There's been bridges that have to be rebuilt, some that have yet to be addressed, you know, and uh, I've been with that same intention. It's, it's you know, uh, it's, the only difference is that I can rely on your project to now reignite that in a lot of instances, ignited for the first time, because I did also, I did have the wisdom to put away some contacts for the right time and never even tap into them. So there's a lot, there's really a lot. There's a, there's a, there's a lot. I'm, I'm going to, you know, we're, we're going to double what we have. <laughs> yeah, I really yeah. appreciate, I really appreciate you feeling all of that and I totally get it. And um, yeah, that's so awesome. And that's, and that's kind of the thing is that, um, you know, I want to give you the opportunity to own this as much as you resonate with it, right? That's really the opportunity for everyone in the world. It's like, yeah, Jared created it, but just imagine that you found all this on the side of the road and you just intrinsically got all the value of it and you picked it all up and you brought it to the world and you said, hey, look, well, look what I found, look what we can do, you know? That's what I see. I, I consider myself an early adapter. I think that my... My roles, my the roles, my functions in it, uh, how I can benefit. You know, this is still. Um, you know, the answer continues to grow as I find out more and more and more. But uh, definitely, I see myself as an early adapter. You know, with the with the, with the potential, with the capacity to uh, continue to bring uh, new waves of users. And so we have a, a you know viable product, a viable system that. But, you know, you go to beta and so on and so forth. So I, I do see it. I see it from the concept. I see it from the spiritual value, the social value, uh, you know, the cohesiveness, how, how it can definitely work. Uh, so I'm, I'm all there, you know, I'm all there. And maybe that's the reason why it's so great that we connected because I was going to, you know, I know that there's going to be a savings of time here in the sense of I see what you're doing because I was hungry for it, you know. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I I wasn't just hungry for a, a a blob of an idea. I actually understood how many moving parts this was going to require, and that my function had nothing to do with that, but that was included somewhere in my fun along my function down the road. So, you know, finding somebody, you know, for me it was just uh, utilizing CRMs in a very uh, innovative way. You know, I was just going to customize existing, you know as far as I could with my own technical knowledge or maybe meet some people that could take the existing to new levels, you know, but to my surprise, you know, you've been working on this all your life, something totally new. It's, it's mapping thought. It's beyond, you know, so it's just right. It's confirmed, you know? Perfect, brother. It's perfect. It's awesome. I really appreciate you saying that. Yeah. So I think, um, let's it's, it's great there's so much going through my mind and i want to like really honor our time as you were just saying so let's let's talk about so we can provide more context the best context for our last 20 minutes now when when do you feel like is uh you know the next best time for you to reconvene for us to take it a little bit further after this um the next thing i'll have is at 7 30 which is, so I have to get ready for. So I would say, let's see. How's your, how's your schedule? Are you a night person? No. Uh, I am a night person. Um, yeah, I actually, uh, a lot of times I'm like up in the middle of the night and I'm sleeping like in the morning, like I do my best work at night. So, so yeah. So I'm gonna look at my calendar. 
just real quick. Uh, I'm going to pause while we're doing that. So I think, you know, as much as we're feeling it, and I'm going to rely on you tomorrow, you know, to kind of guide me if I'm, if I'm going too far down like a, you know, a rabbit hole, but I want, I feel like, you know, if you want to give ourselves like a really good amount of time tomorrow to just go wherever there is for us to go within all Absolutely. of it, for you to really, for you to go down the paths that you want to go down to understand. We can do like three hours. You know, that's what we did last time. And I think we probably could easily do that's that. That's what I was ready to do today. You know, uh, what happens is uh, one of the team members within the artist's team was going to take this call and it fell on my lap today. Got it. So it was, uh, you know, I felt we could get something still, but it was, it, it fell right in the middle of a call. Um, but we'll work through it. You know, we're building momentum, traction. I think yeah, it's all it's all perfect. And I'm, glad, I'm glad we got to connect today at this level. And now I can even send you some stuff, you know, between now and then, if you have any time that you want to look at. And like, that could actually help me because, look, as we've been on the call, I've been taking notes. These are all, this list right here is the immediate, uh, you can see it. But I have a list of about 10 contacts. And I'm thinking, and they keep popping into my mind. So I'm thinking, why don't I take some time and actually meditate this list? You know, and, and it's so much that I'm going to group them in between influencers, nonprofits, so that then we can see, because I, I feel like we can create a controlled uh, test environment right now. There's yeah. Enough. Yeah. It's, it's really, it's really awesome that you're saying that. And so as you're saying that, let's finish up these last few minutes with the, with the outline that I was going over and I'll just at least do the quick overview so you get. Um, you know, all the different pieces so that you can have it in mind as you're doing your meditation. So, you know, I'm going, I'm reactivating the networks as I shared with you. I'm managing the out, oops. It's like I clicked that by accident. Yeah, let me go back. Managing the alpha launch uh, of the system, as you know, we talked about, that's a high priority right now. Record and share many more Uniting for Action details. So you can see that this is actually the process of reality creation. And this is what we're going to talk about more, you know, tomorrow is that actually, you know, talking about each of thing, these things, anything that requires more than just, you know, yourself to get done, it can't exist until there is a conversation. Right. And when you and usually that's happening one conversation with one person at a time and wherever, you know, and that has no place to live that conversation and wherever that conversation goes like that's it. And it's isolated from all these other conversations. So, again, it's by sharing and recording that all of these thoughts are getting laid down onto a thought map that can be built on and evolve and actually grow into you know something in the world so it, this is you know actually doing you're doing automatic voice to text conversions um you know you youtube does it automatically but we're okay. you know, we're going to get into like where we're going with this because where we're going with this is an app that doesn't exist right now you know as far as i know okay. we're gonna but we're gonna look at what does exist out there but essentially it's going to be you know, not only the automatic conversion, but the digital editing, right? That you can be watching a video and you can press a button on the screen and it's it's tagging the video and it's editing the video and the AI is editing the video. There's all kinds of functionality that we're gonna talk about that we want in the video, you know, that we're recording. So, so there's that. And then <clears throat> assembling the teams, you know, is a big part. I've got the priority teams that we're working on we'll I get into, yeah we'll get into more details but these are the priority teams right now the administrative team the video processing communications technology and client relations and again there's more specifics there and then expand the collective pool of resources you know the financial support the talent pool the influence so all of this makes up this the phase that we're in right now the build a foundation phase 
Okay. okay. So, so we'll get, yeah, we'll get into more details about how we can work together to focus on these needs. And then the next phase is raise the influencer army um, phase. And I'm going to be really, you know, I'll just give you the teaser since I really want to give you more. But the teaser on the influencer army is essentially um, piggybacking on what I said before about getting starting to create starting to create these collective experiences where we're all joining together in real time to do something together as community, right? Virtually, and right? Virtually, exactly. Where we're, you know, commenting, we're rating, we're sharing links, we're doing this so that there's a group. Like a think, like a think tank brainstorm. Exactly. In real time, millions of people all at once. Ooh. And it's going to be guided by the influencers because the influencers are the ones that bring all of those people together all at once. They, they put the first call pretty much. Taylor Swift says, hey, all my fans join me this Saturday and we're going to go do this together. And how many people are online, you know, with Taylor and Taylor in real time is going to be, you know, with her assistants, her assistants are going to be telling her the people are saying this, like this is what people want. And she's going to be like guiding, like here's a whole room of people, you know. To, because to, AI is grouping responses, categorizing them and putting them out. In a, exactly, a like everything's being tabulated and analyzed and you've got, a, you've got a mission control panel that's showing you all the dials and all the everything. So here's what people are saying. So you can imagine again, like you're an influencer and you ask your followers, hey everybody, here's the, the attendee list of the event I'm about to go to. What are the top five people that you think that I should go talk to? And what do you think I should talk to them about? And then you go and seek out those people and have those conversations, you know, it, hopefully with agreement in real time where it's being broadcast to your followers in real time. And in real time, they're saying now that you're talking and now that this person is saying this, please ask them this. So you actually are being an agent of the collective, you know, that the whole collective is actually experiencing this through you and you're being the interface. Okay. Being the interface. Collective agency, I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see it, I understood. And so this is going, to, so the influencers in the world are about to have an entirely new role that they're able to step into, that they are uniquely able to step into because they're already influencers and when they and you know there's going to be a, there's going to be a lot of new influencers that are going to come to the fore out of this whole paradigm that's going to develop but the current influencers are the ones that have the ability to mobilize millions all at once you know for whatever they say hey i'm we're about to do this brand new uniting for action experience everybody log on you know at this time and you're going to have this interface. You, you get what I'm saying? Like this is going to be a whole new interactive world where things are going to be happening because people who are influencers are going to bring their entire collective with them. They're going to be sitting in meetings being essentially like democratic agents, you know, of the whole collective that they are representing, their representatives. So, nice. so in parliament. Oh, uh, influencers. <laughs> influencers are about to represent their constituency about all the issues that they care about with all of the top, you know, wow. people, the top experts, the top whatever, like influencers are going to be using their influence to open doors and have conversations about the things they care about with everyone that they're going to be the leaders of these issues. Wow. Wow. I got it. Pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. You're repurposing the influencer uh, while capitalizing on their influence. Capitalize you start and, 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 and if this, if as if that wasn't enough, because they're like developing this whole thing with all of their people, this whole engagement. There's a whole new engagement level going on in our world with this. That all of that gets converted into all of the people they recommend, all the products they recommend, all the services they recommend. Like the influencers are gonna have so much more revenue coming into them 
from all of that they're doing for good in the world. It's this positive feedback cycle. The more good they do, the more ability they have, they do good. And this is a positive feedback cycle that we're building into the system so that people are able to benefit and do more and more and more with the collective. So like micro societies, uh, micro factions, but they can overlap, right? Because then if you like two influences, they happen to share the same cause now. You know, exactly. And okay, that's, this is great. Yeah. And with what you're saying, just to tie in the army concept, so you get that part a little bit more, these influencers are going to choose, you know, the issues that they care most about, that they, you know, are already being big benefactors of and all of that. Right. And depending upon what level they want to, you know, help lead the world around that issue is whether they're going to be, you know, a regular soldier or a sergeant or a lieutenant or a general at whatever level they're choosing they're going to have other influencers under them at those levels and when the and when the marching orders come down to the generals everything goes out and everything happens from this distributed army of influencers this is great this is fantastic so, so from what you're saying in terms of like crossovers, like some influencers are going to have, you know, their pet projects and they're going to be like lieutenants on those. They're going to be like regular soldiers and other issues. So they're going to be at a different level of rank for every issue. They're going to have their own, you know. But, 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 but they're going to be concentrated. They're going to be face to face, toe to toe to what they want to do, surrounded by the people that want to do that as well. Exactly. And this is a volunteer based army. So everyone is agreeing to follow the superiors that is, you know, do the marching order. Don't just ignore it. Like this is an engaged army. This isn't like, you know, today's, you know, disengaged kind of participation. This is like these people are doing are doing all this to get this done. Because when when influencers come together in mass like this, like we talked about last time, now you've got tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people all moving in coordination, all taking the same action at the same time. This is what moves the bigger forces in the world. This is how we leverage the gears to be able to move the big gears of the world. And then you'll have a platform. To, the platform will also catapult new influence from, from the mass. From the Exactly. That's the thing is that we are all about to be influencers on whatever things is important are important to us because whatever is important to us is what we're going to study, what we're going to read about, what we're going to comment on. Our friends are going to know that that's like big for us. And so when they need to make a decision about that, they're going to follow whatever we recommend. And because they're following what we recommend, then we're earning a commission from that. So we're all being influencers for whatever is important to us. This is amazing. This is amazing. What are we at? What time is it? 426. I think it should get off. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, this is a good ending. I'm glad I gave you these little nuggets so you could really have something. This is great. Yeah. This is great. I, I, I'm, I'm much further in, in, in my understanding. Uh, this influencer uh, model is great. Let's let's duplicate the uh, the calendar event in tomorrow, same time. Uh, if you want, mark it for three hours just to make sure and we could probably go over you know, anything. Yeah, let me, or I, I'm thinking about the time because I might want to set up some other meetings too tomorrow. So I think let me, well, three o'clock I think is good because then I'll end the day with our meeting. So yeah, okay. let's, so let's make it, let's actually make it two o'clock if that works for you. Is that good? That works. That works. Awesome, bro. I'm so excited. I'm so like, so this grateful. Great. And, I, and, I, and I'll leave you with this. I feel like I have some uh, uh, elevator pitch language now. Awesome. You know, it all started with top, top mapping, top mapping. That was the, you know, and then what we use it for and how, and it all comes easier now. So I'm going to have some conversations between now and tomorrow. That's so awesome, bro. I really appreciate it. So great to be with you as always. I honor you and so grateful for our journey together, bro. Likewise. Uh, Melina, thank you again. Yes. Thank you, Melina. We appreciate you. Awesome. All right, bro. I'll All right, see brother, you tomorrow. I'm off. All right. Have a great day. I do.